Good morning. Today we're cooking soup with my favorite wild spring edible, a uh, medicinal wild plant um, with a lot of nutritious. So why not to use it? It's growing, it's popping up. It was actually popping up when the snow was still uh, sitting on the ground. So even if you find this wild edible under the snow, it's packed already full of energy because younger or if you find this spring edible in its uh, baby stage that's the best way how to find it so we're talking about stinging nettle uh, that may help to reduce inflammation in your body that can help with hay fever can help to control your blood sugars um, it can reduce inflammation as I as I mentioned already um, it can lower your blood sugar. So as I said, it's great help with uh, blood sugar control as well. It's got many nutritions, many um, vitamins and many, um, many minerals. Vitamins like A, B, C, K, lots of it's packed with iron. When I was pregnant, I was on this quite a lot because I was always in short of, short of iron. So. Um, this is great wild edible and medicine so as I would say or someone before us said you are what you eat so if you want to feel healthy if you want to have a lots of energy you can you can get these um, stinging nettles um, and you can just drink them raw as they are just blend them blend them with water add some apple you can drink it as it is so you don't have to worry that it'll sting you you know so that stinging nettle i'm using today for our soup uh you can just pour over with hot water you can drink it like a tea infusion you can consume it in many ways really many ways you can make soup so we're making soup today um so i mean it's stinging nettle soup I am adding some wild garlic in it as well and to make it more thick I just added few potatoes so I started my soup with uh, one cooking onion I added um, I cooked I added uh, some potatoes maybe two three potatoes and I cooked it some sea salt that's also potatoes and onion but no need for onion you don't have any but I, I don't know the kitchen that wouldn't have onion you know if you have any root vegetables just use any root vegetables it's, it's up to your creation up to your imagination so I cooked I cooked um, I cooked these potatoes I added uh, some uh, stinging nettles once they were cooked but at the very end I added these stinging nettles probably three handful of these stinging nettles they are still they still can give you stings but i'm used to uh dealing with stinging nettles so i'm not really you know i don't need gloves so i added three handful of stinging nettles i chopped some wild garlic probably one handful of wild garlic and i popped it all in my in my uh, soup and I let it simmer for just a few minutes because you don't want to destroy vitamins that are in, in stinging nettles and in the in presence of wild garlic. So then I just switch it off within probably three minutes. So you can even just let it infuse stinging nettle there. You don't have to cook it. Just pop it there in the way as it is because soup is still hot, switch it off. And then I just blended it. So I have my soup done. This is stinging nettle soup, stinging nettle tea, along with a piece of shepherd's purse I was on yesterday and some uh, dandelion heads that are great for stomach ache. Cheers. So this soup might take you, I don't know, 10 minutes to cook. As, as long as potatoes needs to be cooked, you're done with soup because you switch off your cooking pot and you just add stinging nettles on the top. And uh, that's it. That's your soup is done. You blend it. So this is my soup is ready. I will show you. It's just a regular basic soup. You can make stinging nettle soup in many ways. You can use uh, root veggies. You can chop root veggies, cook them. And then in the second pot, you have uh, stinging nettles that you will simmer shortly, blend it. And you pour this blend in these roots. So you will have pieces of roots being served this stinging nettle with stinging nettle puree like I have here so see so this is uh, potatoes cooked with stinging nettle and wild garlic all in sea salt little bit bit of sea salt 
Right, okay. How will we serve our stinging nettle soup today? So I decided, this is my soup bowl. I decided I will serve it with quinoa. You can use quinoa, you can use buckwheat or buckwheat, you can use lentils, you can use chop um, veggies here, whatever you have, whatever you like. I like Jerusalem artichoke instead of the potatoes. Actually, you can really use whatever you want. You like pasta, okay? You can just serve this pasta, whatever you like. It just tastes with anything. So I have, I had quinoa on my hands. So I'm using quinoa. Okay, let's pretend we are in some fine dining room. So we have quinoa, and we have these stinging nettles with wild garlic and a bit of potatoes. Mmm, it's tasty. Oh, the smell of it. You can smell wild garlic. Okay. I decided to serve this wild garlic stinging nettle soup with hemp seed milk. Why I like using hemp seeds, I'll explain you. I love using hemp seeds because they are high levels, they have high levels of omega-3 and 6 essential fatty, fatty acids. They have lots of uh, iron, B, vitamin B, vitamin E, zinc, and so on, and so on. But the main reason why I love using hemp seed milk is, hemp seed milk is the second most nutrition milk after mother's milk. So if you don't have, if you're not lucky and you don't have your own milk for your baby, I would go with hemp seed milk, like the second option, probably or I would be using goat's milk as well. For Linda, I was, when I didn't have enough milk of mine, when I was breastfeeding, I was, we were, we had her on goat's milk, but I was giving her hemp seed milk as well. It's very different taste, your baby, or you have to get used to that taste, but it's, it's really nutritious and very tasty once you get used to it. So we have, we have, um, I have a soup here. That will be served with hemp seed milk today. Okay, so what I did is I soaked my hemp seeds during the night. They are here and strained from water. So that's hemp seed milk. Sorry, hemp seed, uh, yes, future hemp seed milk. But th these are hemp seeds that were soaked during the night. So they are basically activated, increased in their, in their value. Because once you activate them, they will start sprouting. They are already bursting opening if you can see the white spots they're opening they want to start growing after one night they're opening already into the life they want to grow which means they have more enzymes more more everything more minerals vitamins they are just increased so many times in the value that's the way how i want to blend them with water and i will just strain them then from water so hemp seed hemp seeds activated so activated that's the philosophy of the that's the philosophy of the raw food that you're soaking or activating you're waking up seeds in in their life and then you're consuming them that makes sense really and i will just blend it with water just pure water blend of hemp seeds with my water and this is the mixture of hemp seeds with water okay now I have just very little space but that's sufficient I'm gonna strain some you see the foam on it beautiful I will just strain it a little bit. Then I will finish my hemp seed milk better when the video is over. Okay, so we have here hemp seed milk. You see the foam? And we can serve it with the milk, oh, sorry, with the soup. I don't pref I don't like heating up hemp seed milk because it's full of nutrition, you know? So 
I don't want to destroy those living this, those living nutritions in it. So I will just pour cold hemp seed milk in our in our soup. That's the way uh, how I like it. And I don't mind it's cold. If you want, of course, you can heat it up. You can use any kind of hemp, any kind of seed milk. You can use sunflower seed milk. That's my second option. Or pumpkin seed milk. Oh, yes, you will try some soup, Linda. Very soon it's done and ready. Okay, how will we serve it <clears throat> with? So we have stinging nettle soup with hemp seed milk. And I might be serving it with hemp seeds, either hulled hemp seeds. We have some hulled hemp seeds here. Or any kind of seeds you have. I have plantain seeds here, so I, I like serving it with plantain seeds. That's my very common habit because I always harvest plantain seeds from, of course, from plantain, nerve or broadleaf plantain. It's it's medicinal, it's very good for your eyesight, for your kidneys, but it just, it has no taste, it's very, very neutral, so it's, it's okay to use it. Or you can use uh, stinging nettle seeds for energy, for your kidneys, for your stamina, and it's nice. Nice presentation, it's, it's, it's okay, tasty. Or you can just use any wild edibles that you have. If you have uh, dandelion flowers, use dandelion flowers on the top. And bit of yarrow leaf. You know, yarrow for lady stuff. What also, what I like to add soup, stingy nettle soup with, but I didn't do it now. When the soup is still kind of hot or warm, you just chop stinging nettles, as they are, chop them. Just chop stinging nettles, as they are. Okay. Linda trying to communicate, but uh, I'm a bit busy here, so. <laughs> She will try the soup hopefully soon now. So just chop stinging nettles. And you don't have to be worried to display it on your soup, on the top of your soup. But of course it needs to be hot. Soup needs to be hot. So it's like it's like tea and you just stir it together. And it's safe to drink because it's like tea decoction. It's like tea infusion, you know, so you don't have to be worried to add it there on the top. This soup is probably not hot, hot, so I would be avoiding it, eating it now, because it would sting me. But uh, you can do it with, with warm or hot soup. There are many options how you can serve your stinging nettle soup. You can do it just in very plain way, or simple way. You don't have to have any garnish. You can, it's, it's up to yourself really. So this is our stinging nettle soup with hemp seed milk and some wild seeds on the top. And it's really tasty. I love eating it. I love um, every bit of it. Delicious. The taste of stinging nettles and the hint of wild garlic spiciness. Mm. You are what you eat. That's what I always keep saying. And you see now the reason why I didn't heat up hemp seed milk because it's full of nutrition. I think it would be really a um, pity to do so. Beautiful. Okay, so that's our stinging nettle soup today. And next time we will do something else. If you like my video, you can please like it. That will be some significant for me that you liked it, that you're really watching it. and. I will be looking forward to making a new ones for you. Okay, cheers.